Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've done the small boy. Now it's time for the big boy. The big daddy. Joining me is my lovely assistant, Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hello, friends. He's doing the free cam. We've got the camera above, which is literally my my cell phone suspended on top of a boom microphone. It works pretty well, though. It does, actually. We have just unboxed the Xbox Series X. We were stunned at how small this thing was. Like, unbelievable. You can see it right here. This is not fake. This is a real Xbox Series S unit right there uh, that we're going to be using for comparisons for this. This is the Xbox Series X. Oh, it weighs a ton. It's so big. Not quite as big as my stomach, but few things are these days. Thank you, quarantine. Uh, we're going to be opening it up. It has just arrived in the mail from Microsoft. Thank you very much for providing this to us. And uh, let's have a good time, shall we? Let's play our game. This is it. It has Master Chief on the back. Now, can I just say... <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> Maybe they should lay it down. No, so it has to be on display, okay? We live dangerously. Can I just say, this is awkward. The chief is here. I mean, your memes. there was meant to be a chief playable in this box, or at least purchasable with this box. Now there is no chief until who knows when. So anyway, we wait for him. He will. He's still sleeping, I guess. We will continue to wait. Uh, but there is on the back, it is advertising stuff like the most powerful Xbox ever, redefined speed with Xbox velocity architecture. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Uh, play thousands of games across four generations. That's actually true. And the backwards compatibility on this thing is amazing and fantastic and one of its best selling features. And Xbox Game Pass is the best deal in all of video games right now. It's just out of control. So that's what it's got in the box. It's got all of these little things that we can just pull on to open it up more easily apparently but last when i was doing that with the s it was literally ripping all the paint off the box let's see if it does the same this time around let's have a look oh this seems a lot oh that's a lot better that's how it's meant to be thank you microsoft all right two this one here though is all ghetto can you see that one yeah, they've someone looks actually. like i wonder if mine's a repack i will <laughs> give we'll give skill the shitty one it just has like an xbox Scorpio in there, or like, it has like one of the OG, you find like a juke controller in there, you know those big ones? They really fucked this. Alright, well, that's done. Okay, cool. Is it all unsealed? It is unsealed. It is unsealed. It is ready to go. Let's crack it open somewhere. Okay, here, this is it. This is it. This is the unveiling of the Xbox Series X. Boom! There it is. Very handsome. Power your dreams. Right there. It's a heavy box. <laughs> Oh man, that is that is heavy. That is that is not light. I can tell you that. That is a solid unit. The Series S was quite light, and this one is quite not. I will tell you that straight up. Um, we're gonna put this to the side now. We're gonna have a look at what else is in the box. But that is the unit itself, and let's have a look at what else is available in the box very quickly. So we've got a little pull thing at the top here. It pops up, and in it, we have an HDMI cable ultra speed, it says. So that's the HDMI 2.1 cable. If you're unfamiliar with HDMI 2.1, start researching it. It basically allows you to get 4K resolution at 120 FPS. Uh, which is very good. Basically, most TVs don't support this yet. Some do, like the LG CX TV, which is what I have at home, actually. So I'm going to be checking this out on that, which is great. Um, do be careful, though, because there's lots of issues with 2.1 right now, particularly with amplifiers and some televisions that do it. So be sure to do some research before you lay down cash because those things are expensive. Anyway, that's the HDMI cable. Um, it also has one of the little kettle power points, as you've seen a million times before. Nothing special with that one. We have... The controller, which we're going to be able to compare. We'll come back to this one after we've emptied out the rest of the box. But we've got a black controller there, which you can see. And I'll bring it back here so it's in focus. But that's the Series S... Wait, Series X controller. We'll come back to that in just a moment. We'll see what else is in this box. And make sure we haven't missed anything. There's just some notes in here. There's a little how-to guide. There's foam. There's... Nothing else. That's it. That's the contents of the box. So, ugh, we'll get rid of that. I'll ask you to take Thank that, please, Sam. Much. Now, as for the controllers, you can see here, it, this is what it looks like, the Xbox Series X controller. It's very similar to the 
previous generation Xbox controller. We've actually got one of those here. It's the Cyberpunk controller we were using to compare before. As you can see, the biggest difference is in the D-pad, which we were talking about this in the previous video. Kind of feels a little bit cheaper, but does feel more responsive, I think. It is more concave, as in it dips down further. Um, it does have more of an eight-way run kind of feel to it, uh, given the positioning of that of that sort of disc versus this is a classic four four dimension four direction D-pad. I think overall I like this better personally. It's a lot more really? clicky. Yeah, I actually do. Yeah, it's a lot more clicky. Other than that, the only major difference with the controller is the material at the back. It's kind of that uh, sort of um, you know grainy plastic as opposed to the top, which is all smooth. The other major addition is it's got the share button in the middle, allowing you to just take screenshots and videos and upload them too. You know, whichever website you're using, Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans, whatever, man, whatever floats your boat, you can upload it straight there. Okay, so that's that's the controllers. We can also compare to the S controller. It's identical. It's just a different color. Same controller, different colors. Nothing special. Nothing remarkable. Either way, uh, the Xbox controller has always been a good controller, and that doesn't change in this generation. Let's have a look at the actual unit itself, shall we, Sam? <laughs> it's the heaviest thing. Oh. It's the heaviest console ever. It was the heaviest thing I've listed all quarantine. This is it. Oh. I feel like we need to have 2001 Space Odyssey music playing. Uh, oh, there it's we go. That it's not actually lighting up though on the top. That's yes. Okay, so let's have a look at the front. Uh, this is the front here. We have the Xbox logo. We've got the slots for the disc. We've got the USB drive and then the controller connection button. And I'll show you from the top view as well so you get a nice clean shot of that. Uh, on the sides, nothing at all remarkable on the sides. On the bottom, there seems to be some sort of plate. I thought it was a swivel thing, it doesn't. It doesn't swivel, it's literally just a, it's kind of a rubber texture to it. And at the top, which is where a lot of people are talking about, this is the, oh, I am Phil Spencer. Uh, it's the it's the cooling thing, right? It's the exhaust. We thought it might have lit up green when we first saw it, but it's not green. It's kind of just painted green inside the little holes. So as you, as I tilt it, you can see it looks quite cool. If you can see that, fe that that feature there, as I'm doing it, it looks like it's flu it's um, light, it's turning on and off, but it's not. It's just paint. Um, that's fine. I'm sure they'll have some special RGB version later on that you can buy. Either way, um, when we get to the back, that's where the business is at. We've got ourselves two USB ports, an Ethernet port, a storage slot for their proprietary storage format, power cable, and an HDMI out. It does support, of course, HDMI 2.1. Yeah, I'll just show you the backs on, on that, that top view as well so you get a nice clean view of it. That is the Xbox Series X. Now, this is capable of doing 4K 60 frames. Actually, that's a lie. It's capable of doing 4K 120 frames. Now, that's pretty remarkable that a unit this small is able to do that. Obviously, it's a lot bigger than the um, than the Series S, and we can start doing some comparisons now. But uh, we have the top view there. I think really showcases just how different they are in terms of their overall width. I think they're about the same in terms of. Oh, I think yeah. Let's call that width. It's probably right. Same width. It's the depth that's very different. The X is around two Series S's. That's probably the best way to think about it, right? Combine two of these together and you get the world's most powerful console. But even then, the size is still very impressive. The, the fact that you're able to get this sort of power out of a unit this small, I'm just laying them down like that, is, is, is really impressive. I mean, poof, my computer is a hell of a lot bigger than that, that's for damn sure. I'm just gonna hold them up like this. Whoa. This one is unbelievably heavy. This one is unbelievably light. I will say that, right? It's just, it's chalk and cheese. But um, yeah, I am very impressed. It is a nice looking unit. I really enjoy the simple monolithic design. I like both of them, in fact. I think I'd happily have both of them in my lounge room. The PS5 is a lot more of an acquired taste. Do you actually like the design of the PS5? I don't love it. Sure, a lot of people don't. I actually like it a lot, um, but a lot of people are like, eh, it looks terrible, it looks like some 90s, Toy, mm. fair enough, I get that. Uh, like a transformer. <laughs> this is a lot safer in inverted commas, a lot more uh, simple, but uh, still I think really effective and really great. So that is the Xbox Series X. That is the Series S. They are both now in my hands. 
I'm going to be playing and reviewing video games on them. I've got copies of stuff that I'm not really allowed to talk about yet, but I'm going to be doing reviews on them soon. Uh, so be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe. If you've got questions about these, just hit me below or on Twitter. I'm usually very responsive on Twitter, so I'll get you back on that. Did I not cover anything, Sam? Uh... <laughs> thank you for your help, assistant. Much obliged. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Skill up out. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know to do better for next time. If you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing. And if you really enjoyed yourself, maybe consider hitting that notification bell so you never miss a video. You can see my patrons here on the left. They're awesome. They're amazing. If you want to join them, check out my Patreon page. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.